Hi everyone, this is Manisha and welcome back to Stheta. Today we are going to talk about something really important. It is so important that if you ignore this fact, it will cause you burnout, it will cause you unhappiness, it will basically cause you an unsuccessful life and daily operation as a woman. So to live a successful and happy life, specifically as a woman, you need to understand this basic fact about yourself that your capability as a woman has nothing to do with your desire to receive. Let me say it again. Your capability as a woman has nothing to do with your desire to receive. So in today's video, we will talk about what do I mean by this statement. This statement is related to being hyper independent. So how do we become hyper independent? Then we'll understand by examples. How does it look like in real life when you ignore your needs and desires and your desire to receive as a woman? And then lastly, we will talk about how to fix it. So let's jump into the video right away. When you're a woman who's financially independent, this is what happens. Men don't invest in you at all. They don't financially do anything for you because they think she's strong. And when you don't ask for anything as well. There are women out there that are financially independent and they don't ask for anything. But we still feel loved when a man looks after us. Just like a man can cook, but he feels loved when a woman's prepared a hot meal for him. Similarly, women who are financially independent, they uh, feel loved when a man says, oh, I've just, um, I, I've just paid your road tax and I've just fixed your car for you. There's nothing wrong with a woman wanting financial investment. It's who you're giving that to. What's happening is men are investing in the wrong women. They're investing in that lazy bum entitled woman who's housewife and then saying, oh, she's, you, she just wants me for my money. But, but when they're with a successful woman, they end up not investing in her and then she ends up feeling a bit resentful. But if you choose a good successful woman who's wholesome and adds value and invest in her, there's, that investment will double. Okay, how many times you have noticed that when we become capable, very strong and independent, ban jate hai, then people around us generally think, okay, she can take care of herself. Okay, she doesn't need us, right? How many times they leave you on your own and you feel like, I know I can handle myself, I know that I'm strong enough to handle everything, but it doesn't mean that I don't want to be taken care of. You know, it doesn't mean that I don't want you to check on me, right? How many times it happens that people leave us in our situation, you know, thinking that she can handle herself, okay? So, this is the drawback of becoming a hyper-independent, strong and independent woman. It's a drawback. Okay, why it's a drawback? Because the more you ignore the fact that as a woman, you have this internal deep core desire to be taken care of okay if you go into my channel and see how much i talk about feminine energy and how much i talk about getting in touch with your own body needs and desires and emotions so you understand what exactly you want and you lead a happy and successful life as a woman and as a human being okay so the more you ignore the desire to be taken care of as a woman the more unhappy life you will lead all right so what do i mean by ignoring your desires and how it is connected with being hyper independent see when you grew up in an environment where your needs and desires did not matter okay basically you grew up in an environment of epic survival mode or survival situations okay where your needs and desires are the least concern of your parents okay they are busy surviving they cannot take care of your emotional needs and stuff like that so if your emotions were ignored and disregarded and dismissed consistently okay then you grew up to be an adult thinking like okay so what is the point if i tell my needs and my is gonna be dismissed anyway so either you become a people pleaser or you become hyper independent not telling your needs and desires to anybody and you know become somebody who's just totally dependent on yourself you do not trust anybody else to meet your needs so when you grow up to be this kind of adult and you do not take care of your healing you still consistently being in the survival mode even if you have a lot of money even if you have the roof over your head and stuff like that when your emotions are not in check when you're not aware that this is the environment you come from and you do not heal you keep being in the survival mode by dismissing your own needs and desires as an adult 
ओके नाउ आई विल टेल यू विथ एग्जाम्पल माई पर्सनल एग्जाम्पल हाउ इट लिटरली हर्ट यू एज अ वुमेन वेन समबडी थिंग्स दैट शी कैन टेक केयर ऑफ हर सेल्फ सी आई वॉज पुट इन टू द सर्वाइवल मोड राइट इन माई अर्ली चाइल्डहुड ओके वैन आई डिड नॉट हील वैन आई वॉज नॉट वर्किंग ऑन माई सेल्फ आई वॉज एनी वेज इग्नोरेंट ऑफ माई ओन नीड्स एंड डिजायर्स ओके I was not connected with my body and my feelings and how other people are making me feel. I just keep ignoring that fact. But the more I started my healing journey, the more I got in touch with my feminine energy, my own needs, desires, my body, my emotions. Okay, I I started acknowledging those emotions that other people are making me feel or I am feeling within myself. My bhabhi, my brother, my parents, they went for some trip or something like that. and my bhabhi told me this story i was not in that trip okay kisi mandir mein unko jana tha and my bhabhi stayed outside and my brother and my parents went inside the temple it took a little bit more time than expected for my parents and my brother to come out of the temple okay they got really worried about my bhabhi that she is literally outside alone and they kept rushing to reach her they kept rushing to you know finish the job in the temple and like okay let's let's go to her let's go to her i, I don't know i mean they literally worried about her you know what i mean and jab wo temple ke bahar aaye unhone meri bhabhi ko ek cheez boli aur jab wo cheez mujhe bhabhi ne batayi to mujhe bahut hurt hua okay they were not trying to hurt me or anything like that okay <laughs> but when they said it इट रियली हर्ट मी दैट माई मॉम सेट टू माई भाभी अगर यहाँ बाहर मनीषा अकेले खड़ी होती तो हमें उतना टेंशन नहीं होता हम आराम से टाइम लेके बाहर आते नाव आई डोंट केयर इफ दिस इज लॉजिकली राइट आई डोंट केयर हाउ रिलीफ माई पेरेंट्स फील दैट आई एम इंडिपेंडेंट इनफ टू टेक केयर ऑफ माई सेल्फ दिस इज लिटरली अ रिलीफ फॉर द पेरेंट्स ओके सो दिस इज माई डॉटर एंड शी की शी कैन टेक केयर ऑफ हर सेल्फ सो वी कैन टेक आर ओन टाइम दिस इज अ ग्रेट लाइक आई मीन दिस इज अ ग्रेट सिचुएशन लॉजिकली इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट ओके लॉजिकली दिस इज अ ग्रेट थिंग यू हैव डन फॉर योर पेरेंट्स दैट दे डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट यू ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन ऑल राइट बट इमोशनली ना वाई talk about my emotions how i felt and this is something i felt really deep down that really hurt me i'm like i know that i'm capable enough to handle myself but what does it what does it mean you're going to leave me right there okay i can literally take care of myself nothing is going to happen to me okay but how do you know that how do you know that if at the end of the day i'm a woman right so anything can happen any time no matter how much independent i become there is a desire for me to be taken care of and many women have that okay but just like me how i ignored my own desires for really long time i kept choosing men in my life who exactly behaved in the same way like my parents until and unless i realized and i got connected with my own desires then i started rejecting those men who think like my parents oh she can take care of herself oh she can go back home by herself Of course, of course I can. When you were not there in my life, I was doing it on my own, right? So I'll tell you something about Indian parents. I don't know about uh, you know other people <laughs> in other countries, but I have noticed something about Indian parents. Either they will like suffocate you with your protection, your love, or things like that, and. if you rebel out of it if you like no i don't want to feel that suffocation i want to be taken care of but i don't want to be suffocated so you rebel out of it and then you become this high independent person then they leave you completely on your own it's like either this or that there are three types of women okay i'll give you an example first woman who's damsel in distress who's like oh i can't do anything on my own you have to do everything for me okay the second women i can do everything on my own i don't need your help hyper independent okay the third women the third woman is very smart and she is thriving okay the third women is smart enough to understand that she is independent and she actually can do it on her own but she is true to her desires and she thinks it's so much fun and so amazing when somebody else do it for her see i believe women's capabilities are to be stored and practiced in between so when the right time comes up she is able to use her capabilities to support the people that she love okay but 
if a woman is using her capabilities on a daily basis consistently this will harm her femininity she will become passive aggressive she will become uh, resentful she will be basically an unhappy woman okay and nobody likes that kind of women trust me on that if we do not bring peace and calmness into a relationship in any relationship okay then generally people don't like to be around such people and this is connected to again one of your desires think about it if somebody do not like you why they would like to fulfill your desires why they would like to take care of you okay so desire to be liked is connected to desire to be taken care of it is connected okay so i am not asking you to become the people pleaser to be liked okay i am asking you to become so fearlessly connected with your own needs and desires and your emotions and your body that you literally reject all those people who do not treat you the right way that's what i'm asking you to do i am asking you to find your own tribe i am asking you to surround yourself with people who literally give you what you want now let's talk about how to fix it so i have already given you the gist how to fix it okay i'll start with saying if you want to receive from other people more just ask for it i'll tell you this habit of hyper independent women because i also had this habit before we do not ask for help we either we think we are a burden to others if we ask for help either we think that <clears throat> our needs and desires will be rejected again so we don't ask for help okay we do not trust the other person basically that our needs and desires will be met because that's how we were treated when we were child okay but as an adult i want you to be so fearlessly true to yourself and others about what you want and if you need help i encourage you to go ahead and literally politely ask for help and believe me on that the person who loves you the person who understand your needs and desires and want to give you what you want basically the person who loves you would never purposely deny to meet your needs and desires see you might not be able to change the scenario that you have with your parents see i am also in that transition right now okay and uh, it takes a lot of uh, effort to make them see that you are a new person right now it happens gradually and automatically but i would highly encourage be so fearlessly true to yourself that you choose any future person that comes into your life either it's your partner your friends or whoever you're choosing to be with okay surround yourself with make sure they align with your needs and desires whatever happened in past it happened we can't change that if those people who were there in your past if they can see that you are a new person that's great if they are not they will fall out of your life automatically but whatever people you choose to be with and surround yourself with in future make sure they align with your needs and desires very very important because if you keep repeating the cycle you are basically living the same life same unhappy life you keep projecting your own needs and desires you are emotionally unavailable for yourself that's why you keep choosing people who do not meet your emotional needs who are emotionally unavailable themselves so be emotionally available for yourself love yourself have compassion for yourself be true to yourself so you find the same people see i'll tell you something whenever you will express your needs and desire to the other person okay not necessarily that every time your desires and needs will be met even though the person loves you a lot okay sometimes they will be incapable to fulfill your desires and needs and that's okay that's okay what happens with independent women is we barely tell our needs and desires we are so scared of being rejected and you know being dismissed so we don't even express our needs and desires and when we express it we want it to be fulfilled okay otherwise we won't say it at all okay i think we need to get out of this mentality see you need to choose a person who feels really sad when they are not able to meet your needs and desires don't choose somebody who is like yeah do whatever you want you can handle it why do you need me don't be with the person like that please love yourself as well to pick somebody for your life who is at least little bit of sad when they are not able to meet your needs and desires right so love yourself and love others as well have some kindness when they are not able to fulfill your desires 
that's okay sometimes it happens it's life right but make sure that you are surrounding yourself with people who are there for you most of the time okay and rest of the time you need to be there for yourself why not you have done it all your life okay <laughs> why can't you do it little bit more whenever it's needed that's why i said women's capabilities are to be stored and practiced in between it is not supposed to be used on a daily basis because it will exhaust you if you want to understand how to receive from men i have already written a blog i will mention the link in the description below go ahead and read it i am 100% sure you will not regret the time you will invest in it okay. yeah i think that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching this video till the end understand your needs and desire to receive and to be taken care of and to be loved as a woman do not disregard that okay uh, just because society is feeding you to be hyper independent women it's it's not worth it uh, trust me it's not worth it dhyan rakho yaar apna meri walk puri ho gayi hai ab main ghar ja rahi hu because the sun is literally on my head right now thank you so much once again for being here and watching this video till the end subscribing to the channel liking the video and the comments you guys leave me it really boost my confidence and energy to make more content for you guys and if you haven't subscribed yet please do if you like this kind of self development content thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next one bye